Hello, everyone! I mean the Jelly Donut of oh, Please Remember Everything! And welcome back to Pizza Tower! Last time! We took on Pepperman! And the artiste blocking our way to the second floor of the tower! And this time, we're exploring said second floor! And you might notice I've beaten this already. I had a failed recording of this where I didn't even realize I wasn't recording. Running, and then I had to do this traveling! For vacation. And now, here we are. That's okay. Hey, we can just do it all again. Welcome to a regular desert! I need you to listen to this song! I love this song. Huh. Anyway, one of the games of regular desert are these little pizza shops. They generally have collectibles for you can kind of ignore them, but you notice I took that guy out, and that rain cloud isn't there anymore. I can reactivate this totem if I dance in front of it with the mock dash. Gosh, that's an achievement, but I've already gotten it. Again, I had to re-record this. It's not as bad as if I had to, like, re-record Metopia or Psychonauts or something. You can replay any level at any time as long as you can find it again. Yeah, man, that's not hard. Alright, it's one of my favorite things about this game is that... I don't have to restart the game I want to replay a level. I always love that in games. Games, especially platformers. Uh, if you climb that before taking out the main block that's hitting it, you can, uh... Uh... Run up and get that big top thing. Anyway, our next transformation! Fire Breath! You just rise your chicken wing and you. If flames come out of your mouth, you can jump around. You can jump dash. Dash, kind of like the fire shield in Sonic 3. Oh, yeah, you can't also can go through doors with a transformation. And it should be noted that the first time you get rid of a transformation with a priest, you get 500 points. Um. Also, these blocks, you hit them with the bandage, they all crumble. Cool. You avoid that to get that, uh, big topping that I missed. Not that I'm get going over absolutely everything, as you have noticed. Oh. I actually need you to throw stuff at me. Frick. Oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned this yet. Yeah, it's a little hard with the again of the recording. <laughs> but if you have infinitely respawning enemies like that, that like the ones that throw the chicken wings, they will not take the counter back up, but they will reset the time needed for the counter. Or combo. Nothing. Again. Okay. Right here? Oh, I still was the company with the super power. Oh, God. What? There he goes. And the cows. We'll cake the Pino. 
No, and there's an achievement for not getting killed by any of them. Which I've already failed four times, okay? <laughs> I love how bouncy everything is in this game, I love it. That's the thing about this game. Game, I've already said the animation and art style is spectacular. This game, oh my goodness. I can't believe I counted! But the thing about this game is not only does it have the aesthetic of a cartoon, dude, it feels like a cartoon. Dude, at times. Guys with the wacky setups and... All sorts of stuff, really. I'll be mentioning them later because they're kind of more prevalent the more you play the game. Anyway, our secret for this level! I am dying. Okay, don't dash, just jump. <laughs> there we go. There to you. And aliens should love the desert, apparently. You know, the place with the least amount of life. To study. But I guess they'd be interested in like the harsh environments, I guess. Oh no. I've never exactly been part of an alien invasion. And so I don't know how accurate it is. I guess. Oh, by the way, this game has really funny enemy names as we've seen. I mean, these little guys are called UF Olives. It's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, also, clearing every single one of these marks by getting to the, uh, sausage guy like that, that's also an achievement that I've already got. Damn. Anyway, it's pizza time! One more time! I, I don't need one there. Heck it. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Oh my gosh. You know what? I killed the guy. Let's get out of here. Here, because I gotta show something. Look at the bases! Look at the base! We're near the beginning. I recognize this, like, architecture. And! Something I can show now that we're already done this level! Lap 2! Two. Two. After you beat a level, you can run through the pizza segment Hit a second time! Time for bonus points. <laughs> this, this, and I'm waiting till now to say it, is how you get your P rank, the highest rank that there is. To get the P rank, kill an enemy, enemy in the first room. Find all three secrets. Find all five toppings. Mm. Never drop your combo and complete the second lap. Good luck, you're going to need it. This is what I meant earlier by you need to timing as hard and as easy as you want it to be. The P ranks are no joke. So, as you can see, I barely have an A.
And that's how you do the second lap. I still have no pineapple for my pizza. And if you notice, I can already go to the boss room. Anyway. The waste yard! It's our spooky level for Pizza Tower. Where you surf on corpses! That's not even disturbing at all! The first secret? Pretty well hidden, actually! Some of these secrets kind of are. And I'm a ghost. Ghost of Hino can fly all around all he likes. Likes and can go through cheese graters. There's also some other abilities with him, but we'll see those in a little bit. These things that are got gar garbage. Cool. I don't actually know how to say their name. But good dodge there, bud! Anyway, they swoop down at you. Mark Tuss, as long as you're I mean, decently fast, you'll be okay. Okay, I guess I'm here now. Well, that's one way to discover a secret area. I love the song. Anyway. Ghost Peppers! There's only thing you do to uh, get this one for yourself. It's called Tombstone, Arizona. But, uh, Ghost of Pino has Ghost Peppers that he can equip, which is how you dash in your ghost form. Oh. And right there, I taunted right before, before the enemy was gonna hit me. I mean, that is known, known, known as a parry. If you taunt before an enemy can hit you, you you'll parry them, and that will kill the enemy instead of hurting you. You, a very good tip, actually. Oh, and, um, don't quote me on this, I'll do some research in a little, uh, after this video, but I believe that the people we've been delivering pizza to inside a secret are Kickstarter backers. They are their pizzonas. This is pretty good. Yeah, so I can you, I can you too. Oh gosh, I can't go over here yet. <laughs> oh, and keep in mind, everything with the P rank, there's also three chef tasks if you wish to go for them. They're all part of the P rank. But, they are the achievements if you wish to achieve and grind this game. <laughs> These levels aren't long, but they're Dense. It's incredibly so, really. It's awesome. Just how much content there is in Pizza Tower, but despite it being such a simple game. And, uh, more pressing matters! We got the ghost of the John Peller we just killed coming after us! There is an achievement for not getting hit by this at all. If you are hit, hit you were reset to the back of the room and lose time. Fine. This has killed me before! Still, be very careful! But as long as you are, or, or you should be fine! Oh 
Oh man. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I've said it yet, but time does not actually add to the timer down there. You are losing your score little by little by doing this. By the way, you can clearly see Pepino uh, uh, body fly away when uh, he enters ghost form. But you are losing your score little by little, little as pizza time goes on. The clocks restore your score, or they are the mini toppings of pizza time. I think I missed serving on a corpse for an achievement. Oh my goodness! But I think, I think. Did I? Did I really? I never dropped my combo. <laughs> oh, I got ghosted. That was a good run. <laughs> I think that's one of the best runs I've ever had. They got two secrets? I do well! And since I've been gone a while... And I really don't know how else I would split this up because it's a weird number to split up. Do I want to do this? <sighs> do I want do I want to do this or do I want to ride the high? <laughs> uh, let's do it. <laughs> I I've hit up on accident. We're doing it. Welcome to Fun Farm! Farm with special guest worth the chicken somewhere in here. Nearly full combo the first! Oh, one level! <laughs> one level, failed to kill the first enemy! Give me in the next! Welcome to Pizza Tower! <laughs> There's where, uh, the Janner Closet is for this one. The hidden treasure. I can do these, and yeah, we're just on the farm. We got these potato, literal potato farmers. And the Swedish chef from the Muppets is what he looks like. The scarecrow looks like. Yum! I, okay. I have just, I guess I've just completely lost the groove. You got eggplant tractors. Bizarre. Thank you, and this is one of my favorite secret bonus areas. <laughs> okay, that that is so satisfying to do. Especially satisfying when you get a good run going. You and these little tomato guys. They burn your butt like the blood sauce in Blood Sauce Dungeon. Dude, that counts as a transformation. You should and can kill the stupid rats. And our special guest, work the chicken. With him, we can double jump. Oops, smack on to those looks you just saw. And destroy the electrified potatoes. Truly a sense I never thought I'd see. <laughs> anyway, down here. Well, I'm not getting one achievement, but I've got to get the other. Oh, come on. <laughs> Chef task complete! Destroy the Mort Cube! 
One of the more unique ones they have, I must say. Smack, smack! And I guess prayer is the enemy of all chickens? Oh, it's happening! Kind of important! <laughs> and yes, some of those hay bells we've been destroying have enemies in them. <laughs> at the end of the screen, Also, screw you. Also, there is an achievement for never falling and never getting hurt while Mort is with you. I think since I've fallen down a thing, I think I am no longer eligible for it. But as always, I'm gonna tell you what you can get. You can go after it if it's very your fancy. Alright, I'm out of there. And uh, another chicken segment. Or Mort segment, I need to call him by his proper name. Mort! Is the reason my ass is burned. No. <laughs> Mort is from a PS1 game of the same name, I believe. Hey, here's our next secret. Mac. Mac. But yeah, you would basically leave chicks off of a farm. And I, I don't really know. I've never played the game he's from. Or seen much of it. I am doing terrible at their secret. Screw it, let's get out of here. But yeah, of all the characters they bring back, or to have in your game that is no relation to it whatsoever. What a weird reference. I mean, I'm all for it. Worth the power of great. And I'm pretty sure this is how all of you, pretty much how a lot of people were heard of Worth the Chicken. But anyway, I'm gonna leave John Pillar alone for a little bit. You can dance here. Metophobia plays whenever you're near the John Pillar. Look, it's been going on subtly for a while now. Okay, you can't kill him with the super talk. But, I think it's time we left the farm! Oh gosh, they go this way. I don't know why the big on the end of the screen's funny to me. Wait. Ah, I don't have it. If you kill those enemies with a super taunt, that's also cheap. <laughs> Alright, let's get serious here. Let's lock in. Back. You too. Get a big top in. Yo. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Good. Don't need more. to go here, but okay. I'll take an unintended secret. Pizza time does not go Timer does not go down inside his secrets, is what I'm trying to say here. Oh, I'm going backwards. 
Let's, I got looped around. We might be able to see what happens when you fail a pizza time. At this rate, yes! Sorry, are you didn't die with Vino. Whoo! Barely made that! <laughs> All five toppings? And that's three levels in one day! Not a bad record for us! Anyway... Next time on Pizza Tower! It's one more level... And then... It'll be high noon! See you then! Someone please turn, turn these enemy sprites into reaction pictures.